So my question is, do you feel like you would make as many sales and be able to support your family from eBay reselling if you didn't have a YouTube channel? Hey guys, it is Monday, March 8th. I have 40 eBay orders to ship out today, but before I get started, I have some personal news to share with you guys. Uh, my wife and I are foster parents, as many of you guys already know, and we haven't had any kids place with us in three months, I think. We had a girl stay with us for a year and a half, but she's back with her family now, so kind of just been waiting for another placement call, and we had some kids placed with us. It's a sibling set of three, six-year-old, eight-year-old, 14-year-old. They're all really good kids. They're playing with our kids and having a ball. We can't talk too much about specifics just to keep their confidentiality safe, but if that's something you guys wanna learn more about, my wife has a channel called Be The Village where she documents our whole foster journey as a family, so I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys wanna check that out. Okay, let's get to work. I had a number of items sell out of my storage unit, so I went ahead and pulled them. Let's see, first thing is this Odyssey putter. I just picked this up a few weeks ago as part of a bulk buy, so I've maybe got $20 into it. Had the head cover and the poker chip and everything. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Then up here, we've got that cycling jersey I got at that antique mall maybe three weeks ago. I paid $6 for that. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then right here, we've got two pair of pants, uh, Duckers Blue and Tan. Same buyer got these for $20 plus shipping. I'll just combine them into the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Then right here, we've got a pair of Lee women's pants. These were on sale, uh, part of the sale I'm running. I think I have one more week of that sale left. Uh, these sold for $9.74 plus shipping. This is a Patagonia jacket, uh, something I got from my guy Mike a week or two ago. So I've maybe got $10, $15 into it. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. This right here, I've had for quite a long time. This is an old scarf uh, that was a giveaway with some Newport cigarettes. And I think the cigarettes were like stuck to this side here. And they just took the cigarettes off and left the scarf. I got this at an estate sale probably a year ago. I've had it for a long time. Only paid a dollar for it. This is part of the sale I'm running. It sold for $8.44 plus shipping. Then we got a couple of viewer sales. This right here is going to Australia. This is a vintage Cincinnati Reds t-shirt I paid a dollar for. That's going out to William. And this is a Desert Storm hat. A viewer named Adam reached out to me uh, via email interested in this. And it sold for $15 free shipping. William and Adam, I want to thank you both so much for the support. That means a lot. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is a trophy. Uh, it is a baseball one. I had a baseball one and a football one up here. And it's all the way in the back there. So I'm going to have to set this camera down. I got this on that online auction, I guess about a month ago, maybe two months ago. It was all that sports stuff that I bought. This only cost me about 20 bucks. It's from the 50s, and I've done good with old trophies. Um, good indication with them is if the uh, topper is metal or plastic. If it's metal, then it's got some age to it. Had this listed for $100. Somebody sent an offer of $55 plus shipping, and I accepted it. All right, you guys are probably curious how I'm going to pack this trophy, so I'll go ahead and show you a little bit. I went ahead and put the thick bubbles um, I did some of it this way, and then I did some of it that way, too. So there's a lot of bubble wrap. I only have one box that fits this, so I can't exactly double box it. But what I am going to do is take some pieces of cardboard like this and just score it and wrap the cardboard around it for protection, tape that down, and then I've got my big box right here. It's pretty big for what I need, so I can probably score it and cut it down a little bit and just put a bunch of extra padding in here to make sure this thing doesn't move. Next thing is a lot of three lights. Let's see, these bulbs right here. I got a big box of these at a garage sale last year and I only paid like $2 for the box. And there were like close to a hundred of them in here. Different colors, uh, different model numbers. I've sold off a handful of them already. Let's see, the this buyer got number 923 white. So here's 923, and those look like white to me. So there's, the listing had two, and they got three lots of two. So a total of six. All right, there's all six of them. Uh, those sold, uh, they were on discount, part of the sale I'm running. They sold for $17.25, free shipping. And that buyer got something else as well. They got a hat that should be right down here on this shelf. Yeah. This is Bushmills Red Whiskey Hat. Also something I had on sale that sold for $5.84 plus shipping. The buyer didn't say that they were a viewer, but I recognize the username. So Donald, if you're watching this, thanks so much for the business. Next is an action figure. Um, let's see, in B41, 
over here. I don't know where I'm going to. This guy. This is uh, He-Man King Hiss. Missing a few pieces, so I had to list it as incomplete. That sold for $17.99, free shipping. Same deal with that one. I recognize the username, but they didn't leave a note. So, Nestor, thank you for your support. Hope you like that figure. All right, next I'm going to C42. It is a pink Nintendo DS Lite. This powered on fine. Um, the hinge was good. It has the stylus, all that good stuff. But it would not play DS games. It would not play Game Boy Advance games. I don't know why, but I've had the worst luck with these things. Uh, it's still sold. Somebody bought it for $21.99 plus shipping. All right, next order has two different items. First thing is an E42. Let's see, this guy right here, this is Skeletor from uh, He-Man, the soft head version, and he's got a staff with a metal for $24.99 plus shipping. And the second thing the buyer got is an E32 right here. This guy is called Man at Arms. Again, has the soft head. Uh, and that sold for $24.99, free shipping. Both of those figures are going out to your name, Lisa. Lisa, thank you for your business. It means a lot. Okay, moving right along. I sold Funko Pop, Professor Farmsworth from Futurama. That one sold for $34.99, plus shipping. Next thing's in C32. Let's see, right here. This was in that big lot of stuff I got from my guy, Mike. It is a 10-pack of Memorex DVD Plus RW. New in the plastic, those sold for $13.99, free shipping. And it sounds like my speaker's dying. That's what that noise was. Next thing's an A31. It is this leather bag that I got from Mike. It is one of those um, like Civil War reenactment bags. Has a pretty cool look to it. Uh, if your name Randy got that for $19.99 plus shipping. Randy, thanks so much for all the support. Hope you like that bag. Next thing is on C4, it is a me reader, Star Wars, with eight books. This is something that we got for my kids and they just didn't really like it. Uh, but they do like the me reader, it's just not Star Wars in particular. So these sell for $14.99, free shipping. Next thing is a Chicago Bulls hat, it's a youth one. Uh, let's see, old inventory code that says C1, so it's probably somewhere in here. I think this is it. I got this at a garage sale last year for a dollar, and with the sale that it's on, it sold for $6.49 plus shipping. All right, I'm at about the halfway point of shipping orders, so I'm going to take a break and answer some viewer questions. First is from Colby Frost. Hey, John, I feel like this is a fun question. Between these two options, what would you rather be given? One, you pay $500 for a big lot of clothes, and your return is $3,000 while putting in 50 hours of work. Or two, you pay $1,000 for a big lot of video games, and your return is $2,000 while putting in 20 hours of work. The reason I ask this is because I personally love dealing with video games because they're quick and easy, and clothing has so many aspects you need to describe so it takes longer but the return I find on average for clothing is better in my store let me know okay so with this math you're making $50 an hour with both things so you're gonna spend 50 hours with the clothing and your profit is $2,500 so it's $50 an hour and then with the video games 20 hours of work for a thousand dollars profit to fifty dollars an hour so all things being equal with you know making that hourly rate i would do the video games um if i knew that i could only get one buy in like a month and that was my one buy i'd do the clothing but typically there's a lot of stuff out there and there's always more buy so i agree i much prefer doing video games easier to work with easier to ship just everything about them is way easier curious what you guys think too uh if you would rather do the video game buy or the clothing buy let me know in the comments below. All right, next is from Sean Dooley. Hey, big fan of your content and appreciate the knowledge. Had a question for you. I've noticed in your videos that you thank a lot of viewers for their purchases. So my question is, do you feel like you would make as many sales and be able to support your family from eBay reselling if you didn't have a YouTube channel or how much it helps? Getting more and more into reselling full-time myself and just curious how big of a factor having the channel plays in your sales. Okay, so first part of that, um, you asked if I would make as many sales. I definitely don't think I would make as many sales. You guys are so supportive of me and my channel, and I am just so incredibly grateful for it. Um, I've done the math. I get 20 to 25% more sales by having the channel and by viewers buying stuff, so I can't tell you guys how much that means to me. Um, as far as still being able to support my family, I do think I would be able to. I was a full-time reseller for three years before I had a YouTube channel, and I was making you know income to support my family. Personally, learning from other resellers 
has made my business grow exponentially. Embracing the YouTube reselling community and just finding out how much everybody has to offer has made me into such a better reseller. I went full time seven years ago and what I know now compared to what I know then it was just absolutely crazy. So I know a lot of people like to blame YouTubers that were ruining reselling or giving away all the tips and tricks and if they would just focus that energy on learning what everybody in the YouTube community has to offer, they would be really good resellers too. Sean, I know that was a long-winded answer, but hopefully that shed some light on it for you. All right, next sale is that big backpack that I got from my guy Mike two, maybe three weeks ago. It's right up here. It's an Osprey backpack, brand new with the tags. I had this listed for, I'm gonna say like 225, maybe 250. Um, got an offer of $150 plus shipping and I accepted. Sold another Funko Pop. At an E3, this is Silent Bob from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This was also part of that big $800 Funko Pop buy that I made. This one sold for $99.99 free shipping. Next is a Baltimore Orioles hat. Let's see, should be right down here. This is part of the sale that I'm running, and since baseball season's coming up, that's probably why it's sold. That's sold for $7.79 plus shipping. Next is on the E2 rack right here this is something i bought out of the antique mall it is a vintage bicycle radio new in the box has all the packing and everything i paid 12 dollars for that it sold for 39.99 plus shipping next thing is an old polaroid camera right here i'm not going to pull it out because i think i showed it in that video where i bought all that stuff where i paid 200 bucks but this opens up it's got a whole accordion style like bellows to it and stuff it's really neat that sold for 27.99 plus shipping Next thing is down on E5, right here. This is a Star Wars uh, Chewbacca Mr. Potato Head. Also something I got from my guy Mike, that sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is a Ninja Turtle Shell Razor van, right here. And there's two action figures with it. There's one peeking his head out right there. That's Raphael, and then Leonardo is down in there. Got this recently as part of a big toy buy, so I maybe got 10 bucks or so into it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next order has two hats. First is Arizona Cardinals, right here. And next is, I think right up here. Let's see. Yeah, Rawhide, Arizona's 1880s Western Town. Same buyer got both of these for $16.23 plus shipping. Next thing's a belt buckle in C32. Let's move this card out of the way. Let's see, it is this one? Nope, not that one. I see something else in here that sold, so we'll just go ahead and pull both of those. Let's see, here's the buckle, and here is the other item that sold. The buckle is Pewter by Bergamo or Bergamot's Brassworks. It is from 1977. It's got that cool baseball design. Uh, this is also part of the sale I'm running. That's all for $21.24 free shipping. Your name Randy got that. He says, thank you for the information in your videos. I get most of my boxes from Barnes and Nobles now. I wanted to buy something from your store to pay you back. My 17 year old son plays baseball and loved the buckle. Thanks again, Randy. Randy, no need to pay me back, but thank you so much for the support. Okay, the other thing I pulled is this Coca-Cola uh, bag. It's, I think it's for holding shoes. It says, Coke adds life to loafing around. Kind of a cool thing. Got this, gosh, months ago. I know I only have a few dollars into it. That sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Viewers Alex and Claire got that bag. They say, hey John, my wife and I have been watching your channel for a while and have learned a lot. We just started finally selling on eBay two weeks ago and have $300 in sales. That is great. Our store is A and C Pickers. Looking forward to the future and finding more to buy from your store. Alex and Claire, thanks so much for the business. I wish you nothing but the best of luck with eBay. Our right, next thing we're pulling is a card over here in A3. It is a Cody Bellinger card. Actually, this one sold too, so I'll go ahead and pull that. Let's see, where is Bellinger? There he is. We'll go ahead and bring Jimmy Johnson over too. Uh, this is Cody Ballinger's rookie card. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. And this is a Jimmy Johnson card uh, signed. These are part of a collection I recently bought. This one sold for $29.99 free shipping. Next thing is a Lionel Trains mug down 
on the A-rack. Let's see, right here it is. I've already got some bubble wrap in it just because I didn't want it getting damaged with me moving the boxes around. I had this on sale and sold for $16.24 plus shipping. Your name Edwin got that mug. He says, enjoy watching your channel. Could I please get a sticker? Edwin, thanks for your support. I'll be happy to throw out some stickers for you. Next thing is a tuba mouthpiece. Let's see, right here on C on C41. This is something I got from my guy Mike. Came with a little leather holster and everything. That sold for $24.99 for shipping. Next thing is four boxes of Brilliance facial cream. So let's move this out of the way. Yeah, these right here. I got a bunch of these from Mike maybe like three months ago. It's been a while now and I've sold a couple of them but I decided to go ahead and run a sale with them. And since I did the sale, I've sold five of them, I think. Same buyer got all four of these. Let's see if I can balance them without dropping them. There we go, not too bad. Uh, those four sold for $72.76 free shipping. All right, we got a handful of cars going out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this whole box over. I guess I could have brought it over when I was pulling the Cody Bellinger and Jimmy Johnson cards. Let's see, we got a lot of 25 basketball cards. Um, I think it's this one right here. Those sold for $46 plus shipping, and those are going out to a viewer. James bought those. James, thank you for the support. We got two more lots going out. Let's see, there's a lot of 100 basketball and a lot of 100 baseball. Here's the basketball. Those sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Viewers Sandra, Chris, and Gilbert bought those. Thank you guys. And then the baseball is right here, including Sparky Anderson in there. Uh, that lot sold for $12 plus shipping, and I don't think I mentioned it, but I did auctions with all these starting at a dollar. Next thing is a patch in E41. It's a big one too. This guy right here. Always fighting for freedom. Real American superheroes. How cool is that thing? I've only got three or four dollars into that. It's sold for $16.99 plus shipping. That patch is going out to a viewer named Chris. He says, hey John, I'm a subscriber but a first time buyer. I've been in the Army National Guard for 15 years and this will go great in my man room. Take care. Chris, thanks for your support and thanks so much for your service. Next thing is a lot of pins. Let's see, it's an old code that says A1, but I have a feeling they're in here. Here they are. I got these last year. I've only got about a dollar into them. I think I had them listed for like 15 or 20 your best offer, um, but I had them on sale, so they sold for $12.99 free shipping. Your name Nick got those pins. He says, hey CP, Nick here from Massachusetts. Instagram page Global Ricers. Just wanted to say thank you for the incredible content you post as you've helped my father and I tremendously with reselling and tips for things to look out for with picking. Nick, thanks so much for the business, man. Hope you like those pins. Okay, last thing we're pulling today is down here in E51. It is a lot of vinyl records. I think this is the last lot that I did an auction for. I did the auction starting for a dollar. They sold for $21.50 plus shipping. Your name Melissa got those and she got the other records from last week. So Melissa, thanks so much for all the support. Hope you like those records. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.